It's a pleasure on behalf of Indiaspora to spend a few minutes with you today to welcome Arun Kankani. Uh, MR shared with you just, to, just briefly how wonderful it is to see Indian Americans kind of rising when challenges unfold. And Arun, uh, on behalf of Indiaspora, thank you for being here. Arun is an executive vice president and really at the headquarters of Sewa International. And uh, before we run a little video that Arun thought would be helpful for us to understand the magnitude and impact of their organization, I thought I would just share, interestingly, uh, when Save International was founded in 2003, I was in the White House working on uh, federal aid to reach disadvantaged youth in America. And in that environment, we realized how powerful faith-based organizations were to reaching into neighborhoods where disadvantaged youth were, were really not getting the benefit of the government uh, and uh, at that time, there wasn't many Hindu faith-based organizations. And so what a joy for me to talk this morning with Arun about the wonderful work that his organization is doing. Um, Arun, welcome. Uh, I think uh, you mentioned that you might want to kind of introduce Sewa through the work that happened at Harvey. And so uh, if we could, let's run that video, and then we'll have Arun welcome, uh, w welcome all of us with a few, a few moments and remarks. Hurricane Harvey struck Texas on August 25th. It dumped trillions of gallons of water on Houston and surrounding areas. It is the costliest natural disaster in U.S. history, and it has affected one in four Houstonians. The damage is enormous, with 200,000 homes destroyed, more than a million vehicles wrecked, and schools, highways, and public facilities flooded. Seva International worked hand-in-hand -hand with the Coast Guard and rescued 687 people from their flooded homes and apartments. They came to me, thank God, and rescued me. Otherwise, I don't know where I'd be because the water was coming so fast and furious and they physically got me out, got me to a safer place upstairs. And then after the hurricane was over, um, they've been just, enormously helping getting everything out that we can save and throwing the bad stuff away just please come and help we really really need it and this organization is fabulous thank you so much thank you so much texans are tough but they need our help now seva international's 800 volunteers are busy providing relief they have provided hot meals cleaned flooded homes, and organized health clinics to serve the affected people. SEVA has partnered with several organizations. Our motto is together, we serve better. SEVA seeks to renovate and repair 1,000 flooded homes, building materials, and cleaning supplies. And we have to provide training to our volunteers. Our goal is to raise a million dollars to support the most underserved families. Your generosity will bring a smile to many affected families. Your support will help us serve better. Arun, welcome. I wonder if in just a few words you could share a few thoughts before we talk about how you accomplished what you accomplished during this amazing um, rescue operation. But just a few words about yourself and maybe about Seva to begin. So uh, I'm uh, here in USA since last uh, 21 years. In Houston, we moved in 2000. And uh, we have seen a couple of hurricanes and this one, not, nothing of this magnitude and this impact that it had on the city as well as I would say on the Indo-Americans, perhaps first time to such magnitude they have been impacted by a hurricane in USA or any disaster in, in USA. So uh, Seva International is a, a faith-based organization and uh, built on principles like Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, that is, let everyone be happy. Vasudhav Kutumbakam, the whole world is one family. Nara Seva Narayan Seva, that is, serving humanity is serving divinity. With these great principles, uh, Seva International serves everyone, irrespective of any boundaries or any limitation. In the initial years, our main focus was helping India in the disaster relief or developmental projects. 
but last seven eight years in USA our main focus is helping the local community aiding local communities promoting volunteerism and disaster <coughs> helping in the uh, disaster and distress these are the three main goals of seva international with uh, 18 countries where we have the chapters of seva international i shouldn't say chapters there are organizations uh, and in usa we have 25 cities uh, where we have active chapters and more than 40 cities where there is some connection so now seva has a very wide network and able to connect and contribute in the local community everywhere. Well, thank you, Arun. Seva is certainly a concept that is familiar to many Indian Americans, but to do it on the scale that, that your organization has undertaken is really inspirational. Could you say a little bit about when something like a, a, a hurricane of the century happens, how you came into action with your organization and how it is you were able to affect such an amazing a story out of Harvey. Uh, the love, of course, that you were passing on through those rescues is what people remember, but could you tell us a little bit about the logistics? It's, there are a lot of faith-based organizations that do community service, but disaster relief is kind of high-order work and has some risk entailing uh, entailed to that mission. Could you say a little bit about that or share a little bit about that, please? Uh, if possible, can you display the slide of the impact? In fact, I, I must totally admit and all of our team admits that we, none of us expected that we, we will be able to do this much what we were really able to do. We neither planned for it nor we could have imagined uh, whatever the efforts really which happened. And I am saying happened because it was not something which was pre-planned and we were able to really uh, put the everything actions together in advance for making it happen. So this was something, I must say, completely, uh, it's a result of mission-oriented people. That is, I think, one of the focus, um, that I, perhaps one of the main point I can say, that in Houston, we are there for last eight, nine years, and we have good teams. But fortunately, the team completely dedicated to the mission, what they can achieve is a uh, Houston hurricane relief is a test case of uh, this uh, Exam this uh, particular case, uh, particular instance. We were able to form completely decentralized operations. All that because this happened, and there are a few people from Houston here. Different areas were affected. Within a few hours, everybody we were able to make the teams in different areas and able to op do the rescue operation. Again, this was not planned. None of us would have thought that we'll be able to do the rescue operation in disaster relief in USA. But it just happened spontaneously. The teams formed and we were able to rescue, as it is shown, more than 600 people during those first three days. And it was... <laughs> in fact, uh, many of us from the Seva International in Houston we were also struck by it. In fact, Grish Desai, Gitesh Desai, who is our chapter president, his home on the first day was flooded five feet. He was out, he was operating from the hotel room. Immediately from the first day, once he moved to the hotel, still he was on the phone and uh, talking to the people. Our joint uh, uh, coordinator, Nikhil Jain, he was, his home was also having uh, flood water. Our coordinator, Kavita Tiwari, she was evacuated. A lot of us were out. In fact, one of us was on, uh, uh, she, she's a mission-oriented staff. She was on leave, medical-related leave. She put it aside and jumped into this thing. So this scale that it happened, uh, I don't think that we planned and we can take the credit for it. It is really the community and organization who really put faith and trust in us because of all the work that has been done by the team in uh, last few years that we were able to achieve uh, whatever these staggering figures that we are seeing today. Arun, I want to dig a little deeper into that because I've heard MR talk about the importance of having these relationships in place. You know, in the background that I come from, we used to say you can't surge trust. You have to have established relationships. Could you share just a couple of thoughts about your ability to reach beyond kind of the traditional Indian American organizations, uh, say temples, and how that network that you had in place really unfolded, you know, in a way that helped you achieve these things? Uh, sure. 
in fact uh, this is something which has unfolded in front of me and this is a great learning for myself also in houston uh, we have we don't have limitation on what this is the only thing you should do so how it evolved is a fantastic phenomena uh, in fact last few years about uh, six or about seven or eight years we started mainly in the bhutanese refugees empowerment program because uh, re refugees from uh, border of bhutan and nepal were accepted in usa now there are 90000 of them so really with that our work started in the local community trying to reach out trying to help them but soon those people who were working uh, young youth and uh, volunteers who were in engaged in it they really soon realized that it's not really going to be sufficient just to meet the material need and it is important because they were living in the poor neighborhoods all the vices were definitely getting into the families so we need to focus on the education and we started the aspire program today we have three apartments which we have rented in the poor neighborhoods in one in the hispanic neighborhood other in the uh, other two immigrant neighborhoods where we run after school classes this became center for high, the school district the elif school district which is perhaps one of the most diverse uh, school district in usa uh, they collaborated with us because we became the uh, facilitator between the parents and the schools uh, they used our facility our apartments to come and the counselor used to come uh, we also were able to put some computers so that children can, uh, could learn the computers and different uh, after school homework also little children were able to help so these efforts significantly helped in connecting with the school district with the community and this aspect this is very important for indo americans here that we want we live here we want to contribute here so although definitely we help uh, support in india as well as in kenya caribbean countries wherever the need is and where we have connection and as vrindan pointed out this type of experiences we have the uh, yfs internship where people go and work for two two and a half months there but now our major resources are in usa in different cities houston is one example that i gave well thank you we just have a minute left to run so i i think if i were to put a kind of fine point on it the larger network that you created really was instrumental in executing this amazing rescue operation in harvey as we just close here uh Sewa has grown from, in 2003, now almost 15 years. Um, do you see uh, the next kind of five years or 10 years even larger operations here in the United States, or are you growing globally? I know that you've put up here how we can help if we want to contribute to Harvey, but any last thoughts for us about kind of what Seva, the larger principles of Seva have meant and where you see your organization going in the future? Promoting volunteerism is our main focus and we have evolved many programs but we have agreed as an organization that our flagship program will be family services helping families in case of emergencies where their own resources are not sufficient to take care so creating in structures in communities so the community should be able to take care that's one of the major aspect and educational uh, workshops the health related aspects all those things we do so that is our main program in the coming years that we are planning to grow uh, along with uh, contributing in the community in the education field connecting with the local community that is going to continue and I, if i can just add one more point here in fact because of this model here uh, already when it happened in uh, at, uh, in uh, florida irma came the temples opened their door to become the shelter i think I am not aware of too many temples in USA who have done this before. But because of this Houston experience and our team in uh, Atlanta were able to reach out to the temples, this is a new thing which has happened. Another thing that has happened is right now in Caribbean, uh, Trinidad has become our center of uh, help because we have an uh, organization there. And many cities in USA, volunteers are connecting on the, uh, our network and trying to help them. So this remotely helping the need, this also has expanded in, uh, through this particular experience of disaster relief. How about a round of applause for Arun? Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>